a video up about adaptive cruise control so this is going to be a short just follow up to that somebody asked if you're using uh, the adaptive actually it doesn't matter if you're using cruise control in general adaptive or not adaptive if you disengage the cruise control um, how do you re-engage it so turn on the cruise control make it available set it like we saw in the other video and now I'm cruising at 120 the most obvious way to stop cruise control if you don't want it is to press the button the master button turns it off and now the function is completely turned off. And if you want to turn cruise control back on after that, you gotta press it on and make it available and then set it just like you did before when you're turning on the cruise control and now it's back working. I think in this case, however, what the customer is really asking is, I don't, I don't mean if I turn it off, I mean if I just hit the brakes and disengage it temporarily, how do I re-engage it then without going to set it up again? Okay, let's get back up to 120 kilometers an hour. So we'll get up to 120 kilometers an hour. We'll set the cruise. We're now cruising at 120. I'm going to tap the brake pedal, say something slow, pull it in front of me, and now I'm losing speed. Okay, here's the button I want to concentrate on. When you're using cruise control, you can speed up, you can slow down, or in this case, on a new Tucson, if I push, or the Santa Fe we're driving, I push this inwards and it resumes. So you see the kind of symbol where it almost has the arrow going back in itself? We're pushing that inwards. So, new model Kona also has the same sort of resume button. But some of the previous models, and I'm going to get back to the video driving in a sec, have a slightly different setup. So their resume used to be up here, so you're going upwards. So the newer ones, it seems to be pressing in, but the previous ones were like the Accelerate, so you're going RES for resume upwards. So whichever Hyundai you're driving, there will be various different ones. This is an i30, so rather than it being upwards, downwards, or inwards, the resume symbol is here, so I press it like that on the i30. So a number of different versions, but essentially all doing the same thing. We're looking for RES and we're looking for that kind of little round um, arrow that's kind of going back in itself. That'll be your resume button, so it'll either be pushing upwards, might be pushing inwards, or might actually be a separate button. Regardless of which one it is, once you actually press the resume button, so remember I'd hit the brakes, I'd slow down. I'm going to press the button here on the left, I'm going to press that in. I'm not touching the accelerator. And the cars moved me back up to my original speed, which was 120 kilometers an hour without me having to do it. So in other words, we've resumed. So hopefully that answers the question for the person that asked it, or if you're just after clicking onto the video for a different reason, hopefully you're actually enlightened as to what that button does. Thanks many for watching.